Beach House, Beach House. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Sims 4 video on my channel. So today we're building a small seaside cottage here in Brindleton Bay. And as promised, this is a base game build, so you don't need any additional packs to download this. I built this house with two bedrooms, so there's enough space for three Sims. You will see that later on when we move on to the interior. So this house is supposed to be some kind of weekend seaside cottage, but of course you can use it as a main residence for your Sims as well. So in case you're wondering which lot this is, it's called Badling Boathouse. It's a 20 by 20 lot in Brinton Bay. I'm gonna put it in the description as well in case you wanna build here yourself or maybe download this house and place it here. This is actually one of my favorite lots because it has great lighting and also the ocean in the back. It's just a great location to build. And it's actually the same lot I built my abandoned beach house on, so if you want to check that one out, I'm going to put a link in the description and somewhere in the screen. So as you can see, this time I used terrain paint for the pathway to the house, which I usually don't do because I feel like the stone path doesn't look very good when you use terrain paint, just because the edges are not very sharp, so I had to use wooden planks and lots of plants to create some kind of border between the pathway and the flower beds. I used to rain paint a lot in my builds, but I don't really get the stone and masonry ones because as I said before, I don't think they look very good. So I'm not really sure what they're used for. What also bothers me is that I can use terrain paint on platforms because I want to build like leveled gardens or stuff like that. And it's not really possible. I'm aware that there are some flow patterns that are supposed to look natural. We have grass and dirt, but it's not really the same because with terrain paint, I can do some blending like I did here, as you can see, I used different shades of brown and also some uh, of the burnt grass, I think, to blend everything in. So this time I tried to keep the exterior of the house a bit more simple, just because there's so much going on. We have all these plants here. And I also added an herb spiral, which I built a few weeks ago, I think, uh, which is also a base game. I didn't build it for uh, this house here specifically, but I wanted to use it here because I think it fits the character of the house You will see that in a moment. So as you can see base game has a pretty decent selection of flowers and plants Because those are all debug and regular flowers here and different types of plants that I used for the flower beds And I'm pretty happy how this turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it couldn't really decide what I wanted to put here in the front. So I just added some more shrubs and these mossy rocks here because I didn't want to place a tree or anything too obstructive here. As you can see, I also added these kind of overgrown fences to the wall for a bit of extra detail. And then these window boxes here, which are very nice. I also wanted to have some kind of climbing trellis for plants. I'm not sure. I think there's none in base game. Let me know in the comments if I'm mistaken here. Anyway, this time I used these debug fences here to create a custom trellis. There's also debug wall ivy, as you can see, three different kinds in base game that you can use for your walls. They look decent, but they're not perfect. I prefer uh, those from vampires or also the ones from Cottage Living. So this is the more shaded area of the house. So I decided to add a lot of moss here because this would be a more humid environment. So we have the moss here for a little bit of extra detail. So recently I had a bit of builder's block and I couldn't really finish any of my builds. So I'm pretty happy that this one is now finally done and I can upload it to the gallery. But I wasn't really happy with anything that I started building and this house was like 90% finished. And since I promised to upload something base game, this was also very convenient. And I'm pretty happy how the house turned out. So in this build, I used lots of different fences and stone walls, as you can see here. And the garden is pretty cramped actually. So since I didn't want to build a new herb spiral, I simply downloaded my base game one here from the gallery, which you can do as well. If you want to my these in the description below, I simply got rid of the extra decorations here because I didn't need them. I feel like this is the centerpiece of the garden. It doesn't have any purpose or function, it's just here for looks. It's also completely base game, of course, because otherwise this house wouldn't be base game. So to build this, I use different types of mossy rocks and dirt piles, which are also available in base game, of course. And then I use different types of potted plants and debug plants and flowers to create the illusion of having different herb species growing here. If you want to check out the original shorts video, uh, on the herb spiral. I'm gonna put it in the description as well and also somewhere on the screen. 
really like using these sunflowers here. The regular ones are a bit small, but it's fairly easy to resize them. So at this point, the main garden area was basically done. I wanted to have a patio in the back, but unfortunately there wasn't much space and I couldn't move the house further to the front because we have a flower beds there and I didn't want to destroy them. So the house is now a very tiny uh, patio in the back, as you can see here, but I still managed to fit four chairs. Uh, so you sims can have some guests over as well. And I think the patio is probably appropriate for a small house like this one anyway. I also added some room dividers here as privacy shields, but uh, they're not really necessary here because, well, they don't really shield you from anyone because they are not high enough. But I didn't want to put them on the patio just because I feel like it would make the whole patio area too cramped. And I also think nobody would want to block the ocean view here. So moving on to the interior, as you can see, it's pretty dark in here, but this is going to change in a second. As you can see, we have pretty high ceilings here on the first floor because I liked how it looked from the outside. However, I feel like it's a bit strange to have high ceilings in smaller houses like this one. So in retrospect, I probably should have added a light here before building the kitchen because it's very dark in here. So this time I used a glass dining table, which looks pretty nice, but I don't usually use glass tables or glass surfaces in general just because I feel like it's an awful choice for anything you touch because you get smeary fingerprints all over it and it just looks awful if you're not like clean it immediately. I also noticed that some glass tables tend to scratch even though they're of course dining tables so people sit and eat there and do stuff. So now that we've established that I'm not a big fan of glass tables, let's talk about the rest of the house. So as you can see, I used the new unswitchable light switch they recently added to the game. It's a nice idea for builders, as they stated, to give us the option of adding additional realism to our build, some more details. However, I'm a bit frustrated because it doesn't do anything, of course. It's called unswitchable light switch. And I feel like it would have been very easy to give it a function, for example, it recognizes all the lights in the room and when you click it, it switches them on and off. Maybe I'm a bit nitpicky here. I'm also not a modder, but I feel like it would have been very easy to make the light switch functional and it feels a bit lazy actually because making this object probably took like five minutes and it was announced in the patch notes like it was the best thing ever. We made this for the builders because they require light switches. I'm not sure how you guys feel about this and I think you probably don't care. Anyway, if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below. So apparently I used up the remaining time of this video to talk about light switches. So I couldn't tell you much about the other rooms here, but as you can see, we have two bedrooms here. One is very small with a bunk bed and a PC set up for a gamer. And this here is the master bedroom nothing too fancy here and if you want to take a closer look at all the rooms again you'll see them in a second but of course you can also download this house from the gallery my id is in the description below if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like consider subscribing for more see you guys next time peace out